Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel IT Planet. If this video is helpful to you, then don't forget to hit like button and subscribe the channel IT Planet. On this channel, you will get all the exercise solutions of your computer book. So don't forget to subscribe the channel. In this today, in this video, we are going to see the exercise solution of class seventh chapter three, that is animate layers and animation. See, the first question is take the correct answer. In that first layer is an effective in adding depth in our graphic objects. So answer is layer. Second question, animation creates the illusion of movement. Answer is animation. A frame rate of 30 fps is the default setting for new animate document. Answer is 30 fps. fps stands for frames per second. A keyframe is indicated on the timeline with a black circle. In animate, shapes queen can only be applied to shapes. The answer is shapes. Next question number B that is write T for true and F for false statement. So first sentence is we cannot import bitmap graphic in animate. This is false statement. We can create many instances of the same symbol. Yes, this is true sentence. In frame by frame animation, animate calculates in between frames automatically. Yes, this, uh, this statement is what? This is false statement. While doing motion tween, animate changes the color of timeline tween layer blue. This is true. Question number fifth. Shape tween can only be applied to shapes. Yes, this is true. And the question number C, fill in the blanks. Yes. A bitmap, bitmap graphic is composed of many tiny parts called pixels. The answer is pixels. A regular guide layer can be used for reference point and alignment. Answer is regular guide. A frame by frame animation is also known as stop, stop motion animation. We can use the classic twin to animate between two keyframes. To morph one shape to another, shape twin is used. Answer is shape. The next question, question number D is differentiate between the following. Yes, here we have to write the difference between keyframe and blank keyframe. So what is keyframe? Keyframe is the frame which has an animation in it or where a new symbol appears in the timeline that is keyframe and blank keyframe blank keyframe is a placeholder for symbols you can plan to add later or to clearly leave the frame blank so this is the difference between keyframe and blank keyframe next we are going to see the difference between motion twin and shape twin so motion twin is a feature that allows you to easily animate the motion of an object. Shape twin. We can use shape twin to morph from one shape to another. So this is one line difference between motion twin and shape twin. Let's move further for question number E. Answer in one to two sentences. In that first question is what is layer and write its types. So layers are the key components to work with graphic objects and animation. They are effective in, an, in adding depth to our graphic objects. Types of layers are normal layers, guide layers and mask layers. These are three types of layers. Question number two. Why do we add frames in animate? The answer is frames are individual pictures in a sequence of images. We add them to add time to animate movie. Next question number three is what do you understand by symbols and instance? A symbol is an object in animate 
it can be a graphic object a movie clip a graphic created in another program or a button when we drag a symbol or when we drag a symbol from the library to the stage we create an instance we can create many instances of the same symbol each with its own set of properties like different colors different sizes etc then question number f is answer briefly in that first question what is frame by frame animation explain so frame by frame animation is also known as stop motion animation it is achieved by manipulating a physical object and making it appear to move on its own by shooting one frame manipulating the object then shooting another frame and so on let's see this second question what is twin write its type a twin defines two points of movement in the timeline with two keyframes it lets animate calculate all the in between frames necessary to get from first point to the last point in animate we have three types of twin classical twin motion twin and shape twin these are three different types of twin next g question application based question you receive an email message that appears to be from someone you know when you try to open that attachment nothing happens you attempt to having trouble oh my god i think this is the uh, last question right this is the answer of question number answer of chapter 2 i think right it's repeated here i will change it so students in this way you have you have received or you have got the answers of all the questions except this application based question so students subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video and once again thank you bye bye